Okay, so we're going to make a jigsaw puzzle. So create new document. We are going to make a custom size. The width is going to be uh, 500 long and the height is going to be 200. That's fine. Uh, make sure we are working in millimeters and we're going to have color mode is RGB. Now we're going to draw the uh, jigsaw puzzle we're going to have is 150 mil by 150 mil. That's the size of the jigsaw puzzle. I'm going to grab those dots in the corners there and just round off the edge of the jigsaw puzzle so it's a little bit nicer. Uh, control C, Control V to make a copy of that. And I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to make that 140 five by 145 and use the selection tool and so that is the size of the jigsaw puzzle that I'm going to make and this uh, outer size outer piece here will be the border so just make sure they're lined up properly I can use the align tool over here align the centers all right that looks real nice um, going to draw the jigsaw in now so I'm going to get the pen tool and this jigsaw puzzle is going to be just uh, escape to stop drawing going to be a 4x4 four four. and so just going to use this pen tool to roughly divide my jigsaw puzzle into 16 pieces now I'm going to use the curvature tool so I'm clicking on that one there and I'm going to zoom in here I'm going to add some more anchor points to this line here so we have to have the line selected first so selection tool pick one of those lines curvature tool i'm going to add some more anchor points i'm going to add five anchor points here so i'm going to zoom in nice and close on this and i'm going to add some anchor points one two three four five and i'm going to use those anchor points now to make the keyway for the jigsaw puzzle so direct selection tool there and I don't want to move the whole thing, I just want to move the anchor points. I'm just clicking to make sure I have nothing selected. I'm going to find those anchor points and grab them and drag them around to make a nice looking jigsaw puzzle shape. So you can manipulate the handles on the end of the anchor points to make things the shape that you want. So move that around, get a nice looking shape that you're happy with. If you want curved Anchors, which is what I'm after here, you can select the curved curve tool there. I don't know why that one doesn't want to be a curve. A bit weird. Um, and if you want to make these back to being uh, pointy, you can click the pointy thing there. So, um, anyway, there you go. So you can do that all the way along the line. So still with that line click connected, I'm going to add five anchor points, get the direct selection tool and push them out to make the jigsaw puzzle shape that I like. Um, you can go for traditional sort of jigsaw puzzle shapes or you might like to do something a little bit different. Just try and make sure you don't have any pointy edges. should see when it is ready to add anchor points it should put a little plus over the cursor so you can see there I have a plus that means it's going to add anchor points and why they need to be all the way over there
All right, that's pretty weird looking, but when you are happy with one of those, now you don't need to redo it for all of them, but you can if you like. You might like to make a couple of copies of this. Uh, just get rid of those other lines we drew and put that one back in the middle because it moved. And then you can just use the copies of the one you already made to make each piece in your jigsaw puzzle unique. And you can change the sizes of them and rotate them just to make them all a little bit different. And you might need to edit those a bit to get the shapes that you're after. Um, you can make those outside rectangles there have no fill. And that will stop you from selecting the outside rectangle. It's a good tip. Should have done that at the start. Okay, so once you get your jigsaw puzzle the way you want it, uh, you need to get rid of these lines on the end here. So what you can do is just come over with the direct select tool and either delete the anchor points that you don't need, which will delete the end of a line, or you can you can select the anchor point and just take it into the shape and you might need to muck around a little bit with the handle there to get that nice i guess you can make that a straight one and make sure it is on the line of the jigsaw puzzle and you'll need to do that for each edge And there must be a better tool for that, but I don't know what it is. Just delete the... Maybe just delete it and draw another line. Maybe that's easier, some combination of those two things. You can delete the line. Make sure you delete the anchor points though, don't leave them lying around and just draw a straight line. Escape to stop drawing. Yeah, I think that's quicker. All right, once you get your jigsaw puzzle sorted out, you can just make a copy of the back rectangle. So you now have the piece you're going to jigsaw cut, uh, the top piece, it's the top piece, and then this will be the base. So the piece will be the base. So you can put a message in there, um, something nice, whoever you're making it for. Um, 
you're welcome to put pictures on there or maybe uh, outline of the jigsaw, whatever you think is appropriate for that. Um, needs to be bigger and pick a nice looking font. Whatever. And then um, all these shapes here, the things that are going to be laser cut need to be no fill 0 0.001, 0 0.001 as the stroke width. And then everything will cut except for the message in the back, which will etch. And then last piece there, you can upload the photo. Okay, so I'm just going to insert the photo there that's going to go on the jigsaw. So just copy that in. And then I'm just going to resize that now. So change that link so that it's not got a line through it. So it resizes uh, both horizontally and vertically. I'm going to put uh, about 200 in there. And just to be a little bit bigger, hold shift, keeps the aspect ratio correct. I'm going to use the crop image tool. And I just want to put in here, I want the image to be a little bit bigger than my jigsaw so that I don't, um, so I can cut off the outside bit, that's fine. So a little bit too big is perfect. I want the dog to be in the middle and apply and then that's it. So that's a file, it's got the jigsaw and it. it's got the base and a message and it's got the picture to be cut. And